Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Teague, your Toyota resource. We're in Raleigh, North Carolina. It's beautiful today. It's a great day to look at the RAV4 Prime. We've got XSE with a premium package and without the premium package. Let's compare, contrast, you decide. This is Blizzard Pearl. It's an XSE RAV4 Prime. It does not have the premium package, but it does have something else premium, premium audio added to it. It's got weather package to it. It even has rear heated seats added to it, if you can believe that. So there are ways to customize, to equip it. As I say, make it your own. Supersonic, su 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 supersonic. It's supersonic red, that's right. This is an XSE and it has the premium package as well as premium audio, weather package. So again, even though you get the premium package, which is like mucho deluxe, you can still equip it with other options on it. And why all the fuss about RAV4 Prime anyway? Well, there are several jumping out at you, right out your screen, 3D scary movie kind of things that jump out and go, wow, I want a RAV4 Prime. We'll talk about those later. But for right now, remember, RAV4 Prime is one of the hardest to get vehicles in the entire United States. Only a couple handfuls of states actually are allowed to carry them or do carry them. So if you've been searching, you know what I'm talking about. Factory MSRP on an XSE RAV4 Prime, RAV4 Prime XSE, is about 41,600. And then as you add options, it goes up from there. Let's check them out. This is the RAV4 Prime window sticker. I'm gonna focus on the options right now. It starts at 41,600. You can add in the weather package, which gives you heated external mirrors, heated front seats. Then we can do premium audio, that adds in dynamic navigation plus the 11 JBL speakers with subwoofer, with amplifier, and some of your connected services as well. If it's a special color, it adds 425. The premium package adds $3,700 to the price, but $3,700 in value and features. Head up display, the extra bumped up 6.6 .6 kilowatt onboard charger. We've got the panoramic roof, bird's eye view camera going on here. The seating is a little bit different. Heated and cooled front seats, eight-way power seat, memory seats, four-way power passenger seat. See, there's a lot going on here. Digital rear view mirror. Woo, there's a lot going on. You got extra plug-ins, adaptive front headlight system, oh, LED projector headlights. There's a lot going on. Foot activated power lift gate, rear park assist with automated braking. Let's start by breaking down the interior because the seating is gonna be definitely different here. On the XSE RAV4 Prime, without the premium package, you're gonna get soft tech seating, but you're gonna have red and black fabric inserts. That'll be upgraded to all soft techs if you get the premium package. And you can see here, it's very cool though. Red accent stitching throughout the cabin. This one has a moonroof, it's not panoramic. Okay. Let's go to the back seat now because I want to show you the rear view as well. Again, it has the fabric inserts. Okay. All right, here's the back. It's got rear vents rear USBs, and then we're gonna poke our head in here. It's got a nine inch touch screen. See that? It's got the premium audio, so it will have JBL speakers on it. Just wanna give you a preliminary view. And now for the premium package. This has all soft tech seating. It's perforated. You'll be having heated and cooled seats in this one. Okay, and definitely the pattern is a little bit different as well. Okay, let's check that all out here. And then we'll go to the back just like we did before. It'll be similar, It'll be similar. All soft text. Oh, it's so pretty. Then we've got vents. Chargers, hollas. This one has a color head-up display. It's a 10-inch screen that projects on your windshield. 
with the video, it's going to seem like a strobe light, but it tells you valuable information like your lane departure alert, radar cruise control, the position you're in, charge indicator, eco information, and your speed limit as well. And it's right there, so it's not distracting. If you don't want to look at it, you just look through it. No big deal, but head up display. That's a big one for me. We also have in the premium package, a panoramic roof. So let's see if we can open this sucker up here for you. It exposes light to everybody in the vehicle, whether you're in the front row or whether you're in the back row. And then it opens up almost all the way for the front section. Blizzard Pearl does not have the premium package, so it does not have bird's eye view camera. So you won't see a little bird's eye indicator here. And then when you put it in reverse, on that big screen, it's gonna show you your typical backup camera. Rear cross traffic alert, very cool. And then, see that? So it shows you backward, but it does not show you forward. It does not show you the overhead cam as well. Now, you'll see that it does not have ventilated seats, but it does have heated seats. We're in the premium package red one here. It has the bird's eye view. So now we'll just take it over here to the screen, push bird's eye view, and you can see a curb view. You can also see an overhead view or overhead, depending on whether you say the word overhead with a V or a B, like I did. All right, let's put it in reverse. So now it can show you behind you and overhead. It has advanced braking too, so if it gets close to something, in theory, it should stop you. Very cool. And then with the premium package, you'll see cooled seats as well as the heated seats. You'll hear the engine, engine, you'll hear a motor run right here, especially if you have it on high. So that's what that sound is. Plus with those ventilated seats, you'll feel it cold on your tushy. You got a chilly rear end, oh boy. You always have a power lift gate, right? But on the premium package, you get hands free so you can kick it. So I just come over here. And as it closes, I can show you the onboard cable. This one, the white one over here, this one has a 3.3 kilowatt onboard charger. This one here has a 6.6 .6 kilowatt onboard charger because it's the premium package. Repetitive, premium, 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 right? So that might be something that you wanna look at for faster charging times. Let's go inside this little beauty and we're gonna compare, of all things, rear view mirror. Why would I compare that? Well, because this one has the traditional auto dimming rear view mirror and it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. The driver will look back here and they'll see if it's clear. They might have people's heads in the way. They might have headrests in the way, but they can still see. We're all used to that. Nothing different about what we're used to seeing. This one here has the digital rear view mirror because it's premium, right? So how is that going to be any different? We're vlogging now. Let's turn it on. We're gonna check out our digital rear view mirror. We can still see right there, it's the same. But if we flip a switch, now we get to see what's behind us, okay? So watch this. See, now you can see traffic. You can see people, no obstructions, nothing in the way. You can see everything. It's clear because it uses a camera that's inside the back glass, right? It takes a little getting used to. I'm not gonna lie about that one because it's different. It's like sort of magnified. It's like right there, like in your face. So just get used to it and see if you like it. It's kind of bright at night, but you can dim it. Both of the vehicles have a power driver's seat. This one right here has a power passenger seat, forward, backward, not up and down, and it reclines the seat as well. So the passenger wins with the premium package. Yeah, welcome everybody, WNBC. We've also got two position memory seating here with premium package. So one, 
or two, pick your choice. The premium package does not give you that. That's part of premium audio, JBL speakers, but it does give you the extra 1500 watt, 120 volt plug-in right here in the back. So that could help you out for tailgating, for working, for camping, whatever you want it to be, it's available. All right, RAV4 Prime also has with the premium package adaptive front headlight system. And probably the layman's way of putting it is the lights are gonna turn in the direction that your steering wheel is going or your car is headed, right? So if your wheels are pointed this way, they'll tweak just a little bit. It really helps you with cornering. Imagine a country road that you're on. You sure would like a little help to see where you're going. That's what does it, adaptive front headlight system. RAV4 Prime pricing can be as basic or as expensive as you want it to be. It depends on what you want, what options you want, and then what your budget is. So you can determine that based on what's important to you. And here's what I mean. I've got the window stickers here. We'll start with the one without the premium package. So XSC, made in Japan. Here's what's so special about it. 94 MPGE, when you combine electric, electricity with gasoline, 94 mpg it can go up to 42 miles on one electric charge and it gets 38 mpg if you're just doing gasoline no electric help at all okay this is standard you're going to see this on everything 302 net hybrid horsepower it's got ev modes hv modes it's really incredible it's so fast if you drive it toyota safety sense 2.0 eight airbags LED projector headlights, vertical accent lights, moonroof, 19 inch alloy wheels. This has the nine inch screen, six speakers. We're gonna upgrade that, five USB ports. Here we go, 41,675 weather package, premium package, and heated rear seats are 440 as a line item. So think about doing that if you want. We deliver it to the dealerships. Every car has some form of options on it. Some have none, some have some, some have a lot. Toyo Guard Platinum, carpet mats, paint protection, LED interior lights. I like that package a lot. I like you a lot, Mary. 47,459. And then here we've got similar supersonic red instead of Blizzard Pearl. The ratings are all gonna be the same. These are gonna be all the same, so stop the video if you wanna look at this one by yourself, because we're gonna keep going. Okay, here we go, 41,675. We've got the weather package, premium audio, the premium package. Stop the video if you wanna check that out on your own. I'll try to get it close. All right, so that changes the pricing a little bit. We're gonna put it at 49 on this particular one. It's got carpet mats, carpet cargo mat, LED interior lights. So this particular one will be 49.5. And remember, because it has less options on it from the port, regional assembly port, it's about, what, $2,000 difference when you get down to the nitty and the gritty. So ladies and gentlemen all around the world, now is your duty. I did my duty and compared them, showed you the benefits, the cost, so we have to determine, honk honk, is the juice worth the squeeze? Is the $3,700 a good value for you to get the premium package? What do you think about RAV4 Prime? Do you own one? Have you been searching for one? We wanna hear stories. So thanks everybody so much. You could do me a huge favor by subscribing to my next channel, my new one, it's only two months old. It's Auto Jeff Reviews. I compare other autos than RAV4 and Tacomas and Camrys and Tundras. We compare all brands, all stories, all features, all colors. So check that one out, Auto Jeff Reviews. If you haven't subscribed to Toyota Jeff, I would love it if you subscribe right now. Thanks everybody so much. I'm on Instagram at Toyota Jeff One and Auto Jeff Reviews. I write for Torque News, cover breaking Toyota stories and news and updates torquenews.com slash Toyota. Thanks everybody. We're out.